Welcome to The Basement, everybody. I'm your host, 90s Basement Kid, and today is a very special Valentine's episode where I'll be discussing Vampire's Kiss. Now, this is going to mark a new series where I discuss Nicolas Cage films. He's got a lot of them. You know, he's in over 100 films, but I'm going to try to do as many of them as I can. Now, the reason I am choosing Vampire's Kiss is because this marks a very important stage in which Nicolas Cage would adopt his trademark style of acting that we know him the best for today. A very interesting style. You know, it's very much different than the normal I would consider acting style, you know, where realism is the focus. Whereas something of Nicolas Cage, you get something like this. Oh Christ, oh Christ, where, where am I, where am I? It's, it's, where, where am I? Oh Christ, where am I? Oh, oh, I've become a vampire. Nicolas Cage's acting style is very akin to the acting you would see in the silent film era as opposed to the talkies. Meaning, basically, his emotions and his movements are very exaggerated in a way that, you know, is not necessarily realistic. But it's awesome because, quite frankly, it gives us moments like this. Somebody misfiles something. What could be easier? It's all alphabetical. You just put it in the right file according to alphabetical order. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, Q, U, X, Y, Z, Ha! That's all you have to do! The plot has to do with Nicolas Cage's character falling in love with a woman of the night who happens to be a vampire. Or is she? You don't really know. But that's kind of what makes this movie interesting to me. So one of the similarities it has for another film, American Psycho, in which you do not know if this character is actually going through this perceived transformation or is this is something that is all in his head. You know, it deals with how people who perceive their own power treat those around them, how they treat their status and how they treat, you know, their surroundings. Every other secretary who's been here has been here longer than you, Alva. Every one. And even if there was someone here who was here just one day longer than you, I still wouldn't ask that person to partake in such a miserable job as long as you were around. That's right, Alba. It's a horrible, horrible job. Sifting through old contract after old contract. I couldn't think of a more horrible job if I wanted to. And you have to do it. You have to, or I'll fire you. Do you understand? Am I getting through to you, Alva? Alva! 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 There you are! The work's not just gonna go away, Alva. It never just goes away. It's too late, Alva. It's not too late. Too late. Too late. Now, the performance of Nicolas Cage in this film is batshit, no pun intended, but it's a great performance by him. You know, it's very over the top. It gives you all the great moments of Nicolas Cage's, you know, all the things you would like to see in a Nicolas Cage performance. Moments such as this. Oh! And stuff like this. Or what? I mean, I'm fighting this bat off all alone, and I'll be damned if I didn't get really... Turned on. I was a little drunk. Plus, I was horny. This is very much a balls to the wall performance, and I think that's why it is relates to people today. You know, the Nicolas Cage memes were spawned and birthed from his performance in this movie. And as you watch the movie, you, you know, it's clear to see why that is. It's a very energetic and over the top performance, you know, the type of which you rarely see nowadays. That's been my review for Vampire's Kiss. Hit like and subscribe at the bottom and let me know what other movies you'd like to see. Hell, let me know which Nicolas Cage movies you want to see because, you know, I'm always curious as what you guys think. 
Alright everybody, this has been 90's Basement Kid. Peace.